and make sure you follow us on LinkedIn. No, and make sure you subscribe to everything. Is the whole marketing automation confusing the hell out of you? Well, you're not alone. There's a ton of people out there who feel the same way. So make sure you tune into these tutorials to make sure that you get your system set up properly at the start. In today's tutorial, we're gonna be talking about how to import a CSV into your contact list. So let's log in and I'll see you there. All right, now that we're logged in, we're gonna get started and make sure that we can upload a contact list via a CSV. So let's get started. Now under leads, we're gonna go back to our other lists. So we're gonna go manage lists. Again, you can create a new list or you can go to the one we've already done. Um, I've already deleted these because I'm gonna use the same email addresses. So I'm just gonna click on this. I am going to add leads and I'm gonna import leads. So if I click this, I give an option to import through Zoho Docs, Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, Box, and Evernote. So there's a ton of different options depending on what application you use. In this case, we're gonna be using it from my computer because that is the most simple case. So if I click on this, I'm gonna get an option to drag and drop a file into this little section here. I can then select which subscription type I want to be a part of, and I can search for a topic and assign it to these individuals. And then obviously each of these contacts have given consent to receive emails relevant to my product. Now I will show you what a sample CSV looks like and we'll go through the process of assigning labels and things like that and making sure everything's all good to go when we do upload it. So pulling this over now, this is the test file we're gonna be uploading. So as you can see here, I have first name, last name, email, and company. This could be coming from any source. Think of if you're migrating from MailChimp or ActiveCampaign or any other marketing automation tool that's out there. If you export data, you are going to come out with basically at least these three pieces of information. If you have already built in custom fields within that application, it's also gonna pull that information. And you may or may not wanna store that into Zoho Marketing Automation as well. So this is our document, this is what we have. So this is what we're gonna throw in there and we're gonna to have to assign each of these columns to a specific field. If it can be auto-matched, then we won't have to do that. But if it can't, then we will have to. So as you can see here, we have first name, last name, email, and company for each of these users. So I am just going to exit out of this and I'm going to drop the file. So I'll show you what that file comes from. It's just in one of these folders. So I'm gonna drop it there. And then everything else here is ready to go. So I'm gonna click upload. So now that I click upload, it does give me the option. So it has auto matched these three, but it hasn't mapped company yet. Now we can go through and just double check. It may or may not have caught every one of your fields in your CSV. So this is where it's important to just double check before you go import. So I'd want it to connect to the company name. So it didn't quite match it because the company name is different from company, which is what I called it in the CSV. And so this is how you'd go about associating it and mapping it to the proper fields in Zoho Marketing Automation. So now I'm gonna click import and it's gonna go through that process and two contacts have been imported successfully. That's great. These are re-added leads because they have already been added to the system. I just removed them prior to this. So in your case, if you're adding a bunch of new leads in, it would show up under new leads. You may have a couple overlap. Maybe you already have some in your system. Maybe there would be a mix between the two. Um, you may also have duplicate leads in general as well and ignored leads. So ignored leads are leads that will tell you when you go through this process, if you click on this number, it'll tell you why they didn't get added and why they were ignored. If you have duplicate leads, that means they're already in the system. And what it's done is it's only updated the information if you've given it the ability to do so. So you can also go to the import history. So let's just quickly click on that. And this will show you all of the recent imports that I've gone through. In this case, it's just the one, but it does show you all of the history of everything you've imported in the past. So going back, we can go through and click these. We know that the company name is that. This contains all four pieces of information for each lead, so we know it works successfully. That is it for the importing of leads via CSV. We want to make sure people like yourself who are struggling on implementing any of these Zoho tools get access to this information because it can be overwhelming. So please subscribe and help us share this channel, this message, it, everything helps us. And make sure you follow us on other social channels like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. We want to connect with everyone that's out there. So don't be afraid to drop us a message or comment on any of these videos. 
We look forward to talking with you soon. Have a good one. Bye for now.